Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your Korean commercials. We got some more great StarCraft games coming up here. Uh, that last game, though, uh, wow, very one-sided. Um, Taryn got owned. Uh, Calm, very, very good uh, play by him. I think he will probably make it pretty far in the tournament if he can maintain um, his style that he that he exhibited in those last two games. I was very impressed. Our next game is going to be Hero. Uh, versus Barracks, a Protoss versus Terran. It should be pretty interesting. Okay, well, um, before I gave you guys a little bit about Hero, yeah, um, he's actually known amongst the teams, amongst the coaches, that he's actually really good against Terran. So, I mean, this could look like to be a good game. Um, Barracks, apparently, is fairly new. He's a rookie this year, and it comes down to whether or not, you know, Hero's experience is uh, can surpass Barracks' uh, skill, basically. Um, because he is pretty new to this. Let's see, when did he... Barracks came on the scene exactly a year ago, 2007, uh, last September. So pretty, it's only been about a year. Yeah. Um, yeah, here it is. He won versus... Oh, I don't even have their IDs. But basically, um, for this round, you know, we have the results of the 256, and uh, Hero was going to play against whoever it was that uh, he beat out. What is this? What did we, we get We slipped here? a note. We've been slipped a note. But it is in, in broken English. A player doesn't come here to play. Okay. Player doesn't come we here don't, to play. I, I'm what sorry, that, that letter that I just received is incomprehensible. I don't know what that thing says. All right. But we've been informed of something. Something is happening. I don't know. Find out very soon. Um, but uh, talking about this series, it's going to be on Coliseum. Should be a pretty interesting uh, game. Although I think I say that about every single game. I, I mean it this time. Uh, Pronos vs. Terran, uh, very intense turtling going on um, in that matchup, especially on this map. So Protoss basically is the defender. Terran is the one that has to choose when to be aggressive, with the exception of maybe the first five minutes. Uh, that's when some technical strategies can happen. Um, by the way, we also did, we think we fixed my mic so it won't fall off. Um, it was slipping off um, earlier, so that, that should be taken care of uh, as well. I do apologize about that. All right, looks like we're going to be slipped another note. Um, let's see. Oh, are we actually waiting? Oh, I see. I guess one of the players okay, hasn't okay. actually gotten here yet. <laughs> That's what it was. Okay. I so see. we're going to be talking for a little bit. I um, see. He just got here. He just, there he is. There, oh, there, there he is. is. That must be the player. All right. I'm watching him walk over here right now. It is Barracks, who, uh, yes, our, our little 18 year old who has just scurried along the floor to get into his booth. Hopefully that won't affect his gameplay too much. Yeah, yeah, he's probably in a state of panic. He was probably really worried when he was coming down here, knowing he's going to be late, um, and he can get in a lot of trouble being late for that. Most of the time when these pro gamers travel, they actually have, like, a van um, that they move all the gamers in. So it's not like they just drive down here themselves in their car. Um, well, you guys know that... Um, he was actually the one who won in the 256 to get here. Uh, today, all day, this morning, at a different location, every game was played. All the brackets in the 256 were played. And so um, Hero is playing the winner of whoever won between yeah. Barracks and his opponent. Um, you guys, you want you want to tell him? You want to tell the, the sad news no. we found out today? No, I don't want to tell him. You want to tell him the no, sad I don't news? No, I don't want to talk about it. So, our very own Idra um, did not make it past the 256. Yes, I am the bearer of bad news. This sucks. Idra did not make it past the 256. Actually, he lost one to two. Um, apparently, I heard that the first game was incredible, though. That it was yeah. amazing. I heard that too, actually. Um, and that he lost two. Cheese. So, um, we may be able to have a special for you. Keep your eyes open where you may be able to see and we might be able to televise his game. I think we're... The player's in there. Okay, they're both there, so I think we're going to be starting very soon. But no, they're actually not in the game yet, so... Is he setting up? I this think is chaos. Up. I'm not sure. I think he's All right, he's plugging his stuff okay. in. Okay, what's going on? Hero looks pretty selected, though. All right, well, here we go. Barracks made it this far uh, last season. And let's see if he'll make it 
past this uh, this point in the in the uh, tournament. Hero made it to the 64s and he lost it there too. So this is another try for him. Um, you know, KCS just recently got a new coach. Yeah, you know I heard about, about that. that. Yeah. So uh, I mean, do you think his strategy would be just like? What do you think? Um, I know one of the big things about the coaches is it's either making you play and, you know, your, the pattern of, of how you're training during the day. It may help him. It may hurt him. I know there are some pro gamers that get traded to another team, and then they're, the, the way that they're practicing just does not work for them. So we'll, we'll see. I mean, I, I'm not too sure if it'll help or if it'll hurt, but um, we'll find out in a few minutes. Yeah, okay. Let's see, is he well, ready yet? I'm not even gamers, sure. The gamers are not in the game no, yet. No, they're not. Which means we get to keep talking. <laughs> um, I think uh, it should be pretty exciting, um, this series. I do enjoy Cass oh, and Protoss well, versus Terra. you want to go back to talk about Idra then? Let's go talk, back about to talk about Idra. I like Idra. All right. We like Idra. We do. I like Great guy. guy. I do. Nice guy. Um, but, uh, yeah. He, he's actually quite disappointed, as, as we are, as the entire foreign community is. But, like I said, there may be a special where we could televise one of his matches. But yeah. you'll have to keep watching, keep listening to see when that's going to be available, or even if it's going to be available, because I'm sure everyone's pretty curious as to you know how he's doing in the Pro League. Idra's, Idra's quite good, um, and now that he's on this new team, um, I think it's going to help him out a lot. He says he's really happy there. Um, but, you know, he's going to be playing in so many many uh, big matches. For those of you guys who don't know who Idris, he is the only uh, non-Korean pro gamer down here, although hopefully we'll have some more non-Korean pro gamers down here in the future. Mm. Um, but yeah, he is certainly uh, uh, disappointed that he lost that game, but I, th I think, um, as, especially a player like Idris, I think he has a lot of potential to do quite well. Yeah, I mean, uh, just even from that one game that they said, it was when Idra, you know, really followed his training from what he had learned that yeah. his macro game was amazing. They said it was much better than how when he first got here to Korea. So I think uh, just training and the lifestyle really impacts how a player can do. And yeah. this is the, his mindset. I just seemed really determined to do well. That's I, he's he's very talented. You know, he was known for being a macro player uh, before he got. To Korea. So to hear that his macro has actually drastically improved yeah. is quite impressive. It is. It is. All right. Have they joined the game yet? No. No, they have not joined the game yet. Um, so we'll uh, keep talking. One time I was at this tournament and I had to stall for 30 minutes, man, and I was talking by myself. I felt like I was going crazy, man. Well, like, I was talking about all sorts of stuff, man. I was just trying to kill time. And we may have to do that here, too. Um, Okay, now there seems to be some technical difficulty. We have a tech guy uh, playing around with Barracks's <laughs> something. Um, oh, I didn't mean it that way. No, no, uh, she didn't mean it that way. She probably right. meant Barracks's computer equipment. But I think we will find out very soon. Um, Good thing I'm making makeup. You guys can't see me blush. <laughs> Um, I really didn't mean it that way. Um, but yeah, they they are fiddling around in there. Um, yeah, well, 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 don't worry. We'll, we'll get this game going pretty soon here. Absolutely. Um, the sooner the better, I think, for us. Uh, our other games we're going to have today, it's going to be Harry and Endless. Um, now, I don't know much about Endless. Do you know much about Endless? I don't think, I think he's pretty new. I don't think anyone knows much about Endless. Actually, before this game, I went ahead on the internet because... Uh, you know, I wanted to know what he's done beforehand so yeah. I can kind of tell you guys and introduce him, but uh, not a single thing. He has not played really? a, yeah, he's not played a pro game. He has, can't even find like amateur videos of him, nothing. So then I asked, where did he come from? His debut, his first debut ever in the pro scene was the Gom Season 1. Really? Yeah. So that just shows you cool. how incredible. He came in on uh, in April this year. 2008, April is his first debut. So really don't know what to expect from this guy. Yeah, I don't know. You know, when you get players that are new as this, um, you can you got to expect anything because some of them, um, it, you know, this guy could be like the next uh, savior or Slayer's boxer, or um, he could just be um, another, you know, human sacrifice for a <laughs> uh, hero. We don't know. We don't know what exactly to expect, but um, as more of these games develop, we'll have more to talk about with players like this. But, you know, this player is so big, I mean, we're trying to get 
so many pro gamers here that we have just new faces and old faces. We have all sorts of stuff. I know, and that's actually the beauty about Classic is that we mm. do combine. Like, there's all these hopeful new names. Actually, we even had a guy he lost in the 256. Well, we had a guy who didn't even have an ID, and so we sat there going, "Well, what do we call him?" Luckily, he's not in it, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> but, um, but you know, endless. Um, thankfully, has an ID that we can call him by, even though he is brand new. And, uh, and endless kind of sounds like tasteless, and that's definitely a good thing. I think. Um, all right, wait. Heroes join the game now. He is also a member of the famous West Team V, um, which I believe stands for the Two Fingers for Victory. Um, and we're still waiting for um, Barracks to to join the uh, game. <laughs> All right, hold on. I have. A, I can. So, I can peek on his screen. Give me one second. Yeah, guys. go ahead. Go take a peek. I. Um, his computer's not on yet. This so is. So we're gonna wait for Windows to load up. Or. <laughs> you know, we're. Um, if you're a Terran player, this is definitely um, a good group of games to study. Um, especially when you think about last week, we had, oh. or actually Sunday, it wasn't even a week ago, we um, had so many Terran games. It would be. Gr it's a great. Um, Great bunch of games to study. If you want to learn how to get better, if you want to get on iccp.net and play some games, these are the these are the games you want to study. You want to figure, okay, how does he how does he do that so quickly? What you know? When do I build this? When do I do what? And um, so definitely check those out if you want to improve. I think we're gonna have more Zerg games coming up here in the near future. We have two Terran versus Protosses back to back, and then one Zerg versus Protoss. You know, honestly, the one that I'm the most excited about. Is going to be the uh, the final game of the day, the Zerg versus Protoss. Uh, I'm actually oh, pretty excited oh. about this too. Um, They're in the game. They're, oh, you no, left. it's you left. not. They just brought him his keyboard. Apparently, he left his keyboard backstage. So we're uh, newbie man. We're waiting on that one now. Um, at least the computer's on. The computer is on. Uh, we just need to. Oh, he's, oh, he's back in the game. He's in. He's in. He says GG. All right, they're ready to go. All right, we're ready to go. Ooh. All right. I felt like I was talking for a long time. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, they're in the game, so our career commentators going to wrap it up, but we're going to get this thing going. Gun here is Protoss, our Protoss player, uh, hero at the top right. Bottom left is Barracks. Now, Barracks, I, I would really like to get inside this guy's head for a minute because he is probably so stressed out uh, from that say. little course of events yeah. that happened there where he couldn't find his keyboard. I mean, his, the adrenaline, you could see, yeah. There he, just, he is. He is. He is wide awake, <laughs> um, to say the least. And, you know, I think um, hopefully that will, maybe it'll help him, maybe it'll hurt him. I actually don't know. Um, I have not a clue. I mean, yeah, he is another very new player. Um, I think he, he's known, he's got good mech. But, again, new players, they can they can do anything. They, they don't have much stats to go by. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't really have anything that's tried and true. So, don't know what to expect, really. Yeah, well, he, he does seem a little flush, though. Yeah, just a little bit. I think um, we're going to see a pretty standard game here. No proxy. No building the pylon in the middle of the map. Um, and we'll probably see him scout after the gateway unless he's going to do a fast nexus build. All right, as you guys can see here, according to the viewers uh -huh. poll, yeah, um, our poor barracks, 8%. Have no fear, barracks. Sack. Beat out. Yes. The uh, expected With percentage. With one percent less, I believe. Absolutely. So, uh, you know, let's see if he can make it out there. Now, um, let's see here. Will he's barracks is on the way. He is going to wall in. Now, Protoss does have a lot of options for how they can open up. They always have a lot of options for how they can open up against Terran, but especially on this map. Um. So far, things look pretty standard. We do not see the fast nexus. We do not um, see anything that would indicate that Poros is going to be overly aggressive. But time will tell. Uh, 
Now I think, um, oh, well, there's a Cybernex Core. Very standard opener here for Protoss. And this is actually, um, uh, hold that thought actually. It looks like the SCP is going to get sent out. Now Protoss checks for the proxy in the middle of the map, and we will probably see Terran do the same thing. And as you can see, um, actually, you know, I think we may see a hidden tech here from the Protoss because he has two probes out. I don't think they saw each other. No, I don't. I don't believe so. No, I, I really don't think they just just miss each other by a hairline. Now they're gonna probably know where each other are once this SCV and um, oh, excuse me, that, oh. I thought there were two probes. There's a zealot on the map. Even Tasteless makes mistakes. There's a zealot on the map, not uh, two probes, so we may not see a hidden building. Uh, he is using the zealot to scout, so he's scouting pretty late here. Normally you see players scout a little bit earlier. And um, the factory's on the way. All right, well, he did send that probe up, um, and he sent the Z-Lock down. So, so Protoss definitely has an idea of where and uh, and what is, what is going on. Yeah. Now, Terrence going to get the starport. Now, this, I'm surprised this is the second time I've seen this on this map. There is a cliff here, so that does help Terran a little bit when they do these starport builds. Wow, look at him go. That is the face of a killer. And, um, now this build could throw Protoss off. Now, Protoss is bound to get the Robo Babe, which you're seeing right now, um, because uh, there's a cliff here, and if the Terran gets the tanks on the cliff and you don't have anything that can fight it, I mean, you're just completely screwed. There's just nothing you can do now. There's a pretty intense rush going on over here. And Terran doesn't seem to be fully equipped to hold it off. When the tank comes out, he should be okay. Oh, and a second Dragoon. Now, because he scouted later on with the uh, probe, uh, he was able to rush a little bit harder. Because he had that few extra minerals there to get these buildings out just a little bit quicker. Now, he's taking on the SCVs. Meanwhile, the Zealot continues to deal damage. Zealots deal damage actually faster than we're going to. He's got to be really careful. Set. He's got to be so careful here, and he's losing more SCVs as we speak. There's another Dragoon about to come in here, and he can, might be able to target the Supply Depot, but no, he's going to go ahead and back off. Terran took a lot of damage back there. That was, that, I'm sure that was infuriating for Terran just now. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, he is, uh, okay, now we're going to see a Vulture drop, it looks like, because mm -hmm. he is upgrading again now that he has Siege Mode, so that's probably Mines. Well, um, observers are on the way. There, the units hop into the dropship. Now, let's see if Protoss is prepared. Presumably, Protoss has, um, a, sh uh, a shuttle, or will be getting a shuttle. However, okay, he does have a shuttle. And he's going to get the Robo Bay. The robo Robotic Support Bay. I always end up calling a Robotics Facility a Robo Bay. But, um, so he's going to do some type of a drop over here. Here it comes in here now. He has to do some damage with this. Wait, he's got a tank and two, two or three vultures. Two in there. vultures, yeah. Yeah. Now, with mine placed correctly, it could be very difficult. But look at this. He put one mine too close, and this mine's gonna blow everything up. Oh god, this is gonna be. Oh! oh. That was close. Oh. This is a little out of control this is, here. This is a battle of the control. Oh! oh. oh. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> man, those Dragoons must have springs on their shoes, man. They bounce right back in there. Nike shocks for Dragoons. Yeah, no kidding. But he's just going to keep using these units of your... I don't know if this is really working out for Terran at all. Oh! How did he manage to that get out of That was amazing control. Well, actually, it might not matter. One more shot and it's gone. <laughs> Well, Terran's going to be pretty behind now because he's getting this expansion up a little bit later. Oh, 
Okay, well now it's going to be Protoss' turn to do some harassment. Yeah, there goes the shuttle with uh, my favorite unit, actually. What's your favorite unit? The Dragoon? No, the Reaver. Oh, the Reaver. Yeah, he's got a Reaver in there. I don't think I've seen one so far. Even and all day Sunday, I don't recall Yeah, actually, one. we might have not had any Reaver drops. It's yeah. hard for me to remember, but... You know, I think um, this Reaver drop could do a lot of damage. Terran's kind of behind in the tanks. Nope, wait, he's got a Wraith. Now, the Wraith can shoot down the shuttle, and even you know, even if you have shuttle speed, the, the Wraith can still keep up with you. So this is going to make the, the drop probably useless. We'll find out, though, in a minute. And here comes the Reaver. Now, it just went by the shuttle, and he's going to move right in here. I don't think... What? Oh, my God. The oh. doors are open. Wow. And the Reaver... Oh, my God. This Reaver can deal so much damage in this position. This is so bad. And I think the Reaver, with a high ground advantage here... Oh, man, oh my God. He, oh, my God. This is so bad for Terran. This is so bad for Terran. The Reaver is dealing a lot of damage. Now the Reaver is going to come up here. The Wraith needs to shoot the Reaver down. Somebody stop this Reaver. Wow, Terran. Terran's in terrible position. Not only did he get that expansion out a little bit later, the face of the killer. If all, it, 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 now that he got that um, expansion up even later and he's losing these STVs, Terran is so crippled right now. And this zealot doesn't even care. Well, he finally managed to hold off that attack. Um, but he is pretty um, behind. And since he got the ar he's doing the armory build, his push is going to be late. By then, Protoss should have so much, uh, so many units that it won't really matter. And he's going to go for the carriers. So that's pretty smart. Well, Protoss is in fantastic uh, shape. And um, I'm not sure. Okay, Terran's going to try to expand again to recover. That's a pretty flimsy defense there. Yeah. And, um, okay, some more probes are going to be picked off here. This, um, is going to help turn out a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be enough damage. And, um, well, he's doing a reasonable amount of damage, actually. Every probe does count. And I think, um, man, okay, he's doing a lot more damage than I actually expected those vultures to do. Now we're going to see the carrier tech here. This is pretty common for Protoss to do um, if they get the Terran really behind. Oh, no, I feel like he's too behind right now. Yeah, I agree completely. I think his, his economy is suffering um, heavily. And when the carriers come out, um, Terran um, may not be able to deal with both the Protoss ground units and the Protoss air units. Now, the Wraith is gone. I don't think Terran remade it, so he actually might be able to do more harassment. Here it comes now. And yet, God. I would. I don't know if I could cuddle with a reaver, man. I, this is oh, just it's beautiful. bad. Beautiful, God, that makes me so happy. This is just ridiculous. Baron is just getting beaten so badly here. Oh man! Oh my God! Oh my God! I'm surprised it didn't fire at the uh, SUV. That's what I was expecting too. All right, here we go again. This is a common trick. They drop the reaver. The cooldown rate um, for the S for the excuse me the siege tanks is pretty. Uh, slow, so you can drop a zealot. The siege tank will hit the zealot. Then you drop the reaver, fire, and pick up the zealot and the reaver. And the tank has not actually been able to fire twice in that time. So that means the reaver doesn't get touched. Oh man! 
And he is going to get some vultures in here. Three vultures can do a lot of damage. Some mines get in the way here, too. No, no does not matter. He has no chance. You know, they weren't kidding when he said he's good against Terran. Yeah, he's very good against Terran. And, um... I don't know what Terran really can do right now. I mean, the Protoss pretty much has this game in the bag. Pretty much. I don't even think he needs the, uh, the carriers, to be honest. But uh, he's got one. Now he's just uh, creating those interceptors. You see, the Protoss really isn't able to deal a whole lot of damage with these vultures, or at least not enough to recover. Oh man, here here we go again. God, that's so awesome. This is hilarious. If you're a Protoss player, it is. Oh. Man, oh. Terran is just, I feel bad for this guy. You know, he, um... I wish you guys could see me. I have this huge smile on my yeah, face. I, know. I love watching Reavers. Oh my God. I, I love Reavers as well. Okay, I actually, I didn't realize he didn't have the Citadel yet. So he's got two carriers out now. Now the Terran's economy is so down, I don't think he's going to be able to pump enough Goliath uh, in combination with tanks and vultures to do any push anytime soon. Protoss expands again. My god. He's not going to be able to follow, no. All right, here we go. We can see actually um, how much resources they have now on the screen here. And when you look at the um, supply for the Terran unit, it certainly has 11 tanks and 12 Goliaths. Um, and you look at how many Dragoons and Zealots uh, the Protoss has. So the ground army is already stronger. You just see how, look how fast he's gathering minerals. It, oh, yeah. Oh, God. It's going at an incredible rate. And, you know, Protoss has so much gas that he could probably even add another Stargate and keep making more carriers. Okay, well, he's going to come in here from behind and try to harass. Oh, this is so smart. Oh! Oh! That reaver was in for a surprise, but the idea was still really good. They use the interceptors to absorb the firing um, from the turrets so that he can sneak a shuttle in there. That's pretty smart. I think he was expecting that one, though. That, that reaver yeah, went the down reaver, real fast. Yeah, the reaver was in for a surprise. We're at six carriers now and 21 dragoons. I mean... Oh. This is This is a good uh, number Oh Just popped out a bunch more daylocks there Well right now uh, Taren uh, is pretty much stuck in his base He's probably going to try to pick off um, As many units as he can With the carriers uh, Whenever Taren leaves Taren's going to get run over This is definitely not A back and forth game you know. You see, now he's going to try to sneak in over here. Those dragoons should probably uh, get out of there. Now, um. Hey, he's got two more carriers coming on the way. Yeah, he does. And I think um, those carriers. Um, well, the, the, no, the, with the carriers, a combination with the ground units just makes them so powerful. Okay. So we see Man, Terran has oh, a lot of units, God. man. God, where did he get those? He's got 27 Goliaths, 28 Goliaths now, 11 Vultures, and 11 Tanks. The problem is that Terran can't leave his base with those Goliaths for us to counterattack. This is some very pretty heavy damage. You see now the Goliaths go back into the carry kit to leave again. Oh, 
Temple Archives out. Yeah, Storm. Yeah, here we to go. Say. Templars out. And you know, with Storm, that really hurts the Goliath. The Goliaths, you know, the, their units, which are quite similar to Hydralisks. I mean, the way they clump together. It's got 30 Goliaths now. You can really see how that Terran Wallet slows down um, unit circulation later on in the game. I think Protoss may actually attack. I do believe Protoss is maxed out. I think it would be impossible for Protoss to not be maxed out right now. Actually, you can tell that Protoss is maxed out because of how much money he has. And he's not creating anything else? Yeah, and he's not making any units. That is so many carriers, and you can see how he can just abuse these ridges. If he can pick up a few tanks, he'll run in there. Now some vultures are going to go around from behind. Poros may see that there are a bunch of vultures that are not guarding the tanks and just rush in there with everything. And with that being said, okay, here he comes again. Well, Terran will do some damage over here. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. And here, yeah, Protoss is just going to go ahead and attack. Oh. Without those vultures there to help fight off the Zealots, uh, he could deal a lot of damage there. The carriers are just going to target fire the tanks. And that's going to be GG any second. Look at that beautiful chaos. That is just excellent. And I think that, um... That's just going to be it. I mean, he's finished, man. He's gone. Face of the killer, right? That's the face of the killer. Being killed. And, you know, Protoss can afford to just sack all these probes because uh, Protoss is going to get in there and just tear the Terran apart. And now that he's around the factories, there's literally nothing that uh, Terran can do to recover. I mean, that's it. That is that. We should see a GG any time now. Yeah, I mean, any second now, whenever... Uh... There okay, there it go. is. GG. Uh, do you, uh, you think it, it affected his game for coming in so late and he always it? You know, it's quite possible. Um, you know, he, he probably didn't have all his thoughts together. He probably wasn't able to settle himself. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's tough, you know. But uh, maybe in the next game we can see something different. We'll find out. Hero is just too strong back there. A member of We Made Fox, as you can see on our screen. Very, very strong uh, team. Alright, what do you think is going through that boy's mind right now? Probably frustration because he was really never able to get outside of his base until um, the end. Well, there was a few moments with vultures, but you know, the vultures didn't do that much no. damage. I mean, certainly not enough, not compared to the pounding that Terran got earlier on. By the time the vultures got out there, it, it was game over Yeah, anyway. it was game over by then. And then, you know, um, all it took was one last attempt with the vultures to get out. Um, and when Protoss sees, okay, there's just a few units missing, his army's already weak and small, I'll just send everything in there and finish this off. Um, so Terran's probably very frustrated yeah. um, with that last game. Maybe he can regain his composure and do something different this series. We'll find out very soon because they're both in the game right now. They both just joined. Wow, so these two aren't going to take a look at their replays either. I guess not. Um, well, we could see um, another interesting game here from Hero. Hero clearly very technical, clearly very aggressive early on. Yeah. Really getting in the Terran space at first by attacking that Wallen, and then uh, secondly... Uh, when he um, well, rushed in there with the Reaver and the Dragoons and just dealt so much damage. It was just ridiculous. All right. Now, I kind of recall you saying...